ways. <laughs> That's no way to go about it. Come on up and rest your feet a spell. You know, just because us boodle beetles is half pints don't mean we have to start. Uh, listen close, boys. And I'll tell you a story about another little fella. Er, uh, uh, he had his troubles, too. Huh? Oh, oh, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yep. The story of Morris the Midget Moose. <laughs> now, Morris was four years old and should have been full grown. But no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't grow an inch. Morris loved to romp and play with the big moose. But it was just no use. He was too little. But that wasn't the worst of his troubles. Mealtime presented quite a problem, too. Poor little Morris. The poor little fellow was the laughing stock of the moose tribe. But then came the big day when all the moose gathered together to challenge Thunderclap, the champion, for the leadership of the tribe. Oh, this was to be a gala day. And finally, there it was. The call of the mighty champion, Thunderclap. He was ready for the challenge. Every brave bull of the tribe was there to get his crack at the champion. Uh, all except poor little Morris. Suddenly, Morris realized that his antlers were as big as any of them. So he rushed right over and took his place at the end of the line to challenge Thunderclap. He even stood on his tiptoes to make himself look taller. One by one, Thunderclap defeated his challengers. And at last, it was Morris's turn. the end of everything to poor little Morris. <laughs> but watching nearby, from a safe distance, was a moose named Balsam. Balsam said to Morris, <laughs> That's moose talk. What he meant to say was, no matter how sad you are, I'm even sadder. And if you promise not to laugh, I'll show you why. <laughs> yep. There was that great big moose with the tiniest little antlers you ever saw. Morris forgot his own trouble. And right there started a fast friendship. Now at last, little Morris could eat all the tender leaves. He could even jump in. Uh -oh. Why, it's only us, said Balsam. Now, no one could tell that Balsam and Morris weren't just one big, powerful moose. Not even Thunderclap. Mm -hmm. 
Thank <laughs> you.